In local news this morning, we've been giving you the buzz on Ceballos Honey, and one of the owners at Ceballos tells us the reason why they're known. It's because of the travel work their bees actually do, providing different types of honey for their customers. KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine Perry has more. Now that spring is here, bees are getting busy producing sweet nectar in Ceballos Honey. You enjoy an apple or a strawberry or a cup of coffee, you could probably thank a bee for it and other pollinators. Beekeeper John Mendez says bees are responsible for 75% of the pollination. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, honeybees pollinate 15 billion crops each year across the country. And with fluctuating temperatures across the borderland, bees will determine how long it will take them to make their tasty nectar. If it's real windy like this or if it's cloudy, the bees aren't flying too much, so they're not really doing a whole lot. Compared to a sunny day after pouring rain, bees will produce more honey. You can have a month of mesquite, you can have a month of cotton, uh, a couple of weeks, you know, so it all just depends on Mother Nature. And speaking of mesquite honey, while most of their bees are in California pollinating on almonds, once they come back to the desert, they'll be ready to make mesquite. And we'll split the bees and make more bees, essentially. And once that season's finished up, we'll bring them over here closer to uh, Clint, uh, Fabens, Sinelli, and we'll put them with a cotton, and they'll make cotton honey. Hang out for about. <laughs> that was Jasmine Perry reporting. Well, Mendez also tells us with the shortage of bees, supporting local honey farms is very important to help keep bees healthy, alive, and also keep providing a food supply, supply all across the world.